what's up besties we are back we are i'm back with another video and today today we're gonna be talking about the truth about being 21 Drinking gin like that's nothing. nothing. Dressed in black, but I'm white as fuck. Rolling up to that house party, ho. See, when you young, you know, you like 18, and you just not going to the club, and they put the little, you know, they put the little black X on your hand, you know, just to let everybody know that you underage and you can't have no damn drink, and you be mad, right? So, you know, you be like, man, I can't wait until I make 21. Like, it's just gonna be so fun. I'm gonna do so much. And you don't realize that 21 just ain't all that it's cracked up to be like it's you 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 know like when people be pregnant and they just make it seem like it's just so fun it's the best thing in the world to be knocked up you know what i'm saying and they have you think you know baby i can do this well being 21 is the same way because there's some things about being pregnant that people don't tell you okay and it's some things about being 21 that people don't tell you so we about to go into 10 truths about being 21 let's get it man okay so um i'm sorry to tell you but when you make 21 you got to choose to either continue to be a hoe or get into a relationship. I say this because our generation is very, very tricky, okay? A lot of us don't know what monogamy is and a lot of us agree with polygamy, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know, people be cheating, okay? And around 21, you either gotta cheat too or you, get, you try to find you a man that's gonna be with you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody at 21 not ready to be with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So you either gotta choose to be a hoe or have your boyfriend and get cheated on. Which one you be? Okay. Number two, you have to start taking care of yourself. Your mama not gonna wanna pay your bills no more, man. You gonna have to pay your own car insurance, your own car note. You, 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 a lot of times when you make 18, your mama done kicked you the hell out, so you gotta pay rent, you gotta, you, you know, stuff like that. And you know, it's just not fun being 21 when nobody wanna do nothing for you no more, man. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta take care of yourself. I don't wanna take care of myself no more. <laughs> Number three, relationships are so freaking overrated. Like, you know, when you're younger, you be like, I'm going to get a boyfriend and we're going to be in love and he's going to just be there for me and he's going to make my booty big. <laughs> no, no, like, I, when around 21 is like a tricky age because you don't really know what you want like you don't know what you want like it's just hard trying to be in a relationship with somebody when you don't know who you are and they don't know who they are and you trying to figure out who you are together and it just don't be working out like that you know what i'm saying it is so hard trying to be in a relationship in your 20s because you want to live you want to spend money you want to go on vacation you want to be able to talk to who you want to talk to it's so overrated don't do it number four the media makes it seem like you just really have to have your shit together. You got to have a whole lot of money. You got to have a fat ass. You got to have big breasts. You got to have nice eyebrows, nice eyelashes, okay? You got to have nice makeup, a nice car. Like, so much together. Look, well, the media makes you feel like you have to have so much together. And that's just not the way it works, okay? You just not coming out of your teen years. You trying to figure out what you want to be in life. And it's, it's, it's a tricky age, y'all. It is. And a lot of times, it's not fun. Okay? okay. Number five. People are still childish. 
you think that around 21, you know, you have your stuff together, you know, um, you're ready for a relationship, you know, you think that people don't play games anymore, and that's definitely not the case, okay? It seems like when you make 21 and you start going through situations, and you start seeing like people that are older you older than you going through certain stuff, it's like <laughs> they childish. Like they go through the same type of problems that you have. It's ridiculous. Number six. This kind of goes with number four, like around 21, you know, you have a lot that you want to do in life. Unless you are, you know, an anomaly and you were just one of those kids that just always knew what you wanted to do in life you knew who you wanted to be um you're gonna be confused and you're gonna be lost and you're not gonna know what you want to do in life and you you you're gonna be like oh i wish i was 21 and then when 21 comes it's gonna be like bam somebody somebody cut the lights on i don't know where i'm going i don't know what to do i don't know how to eat I don't know what's going on. That type of thing, okay? You ain't gonna know what's going on. You gonna hear crickets, because ain't nobody gonna be able to tell you, you know, what you need to be doing in life. Like, ain't nobody gonna be able to help you out with that type of stuff, because can't nobody tell you the direction that you should be going in life. So at this point, you just lost, and you don't know what you wanna do, okay? You, you, you gonna be lost and confused like me, because, girl... I just don't know, okay? I don't know, but I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? Number seven. Oh, yeah. come through. You still feel like a child sometimes because you just feel so unprepared and you don't know a lot about life so it's kind of like man, 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 I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's like when you when you're confused about life you feel like a child because you don't really know what the fuck is going on, okay? A lot of times, I don't know what's going on. I am so just, you know, confused. I don't know. I still feel like a child sometimes because I don't feel like I know what type of growing up decisions to make, so I still feel like a child. <laughs> Number eight. coming into your own like it is terrifying you don't know what to do you don't know which way to go you are afraid to make the wrong decision honey and when you want to be an adult you cannot be afraid to make certain decisions like that's just not something that you can be because being scared to make certain decisions will hinder you from doing a lot in life don't be scared go for it this is don't be no bitch 17 okay you got to know it don't be scared to go out there and get that paper honey don't be scared okay okay number nine you start to realize that maybe i should have listened to my mom like you know you know when your parents telling you stuff when you were your teen years and you just like she don't know what she's talking about i know what i'm doing i got this you better listen to your mama, boy, and girl. You better listen to her. Because your mama knows she done been through before, okay? You need to listen to your parents. They not telling you nothing to hurt you. They are telling you stuff to help you. Unless you just got one of them parents <laughs> that's just really been hating on you since birth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen to your parents, y'all. Because they know better than you know. And they been through stuff that you been through before. So, listen to your peeps. Number 10. So... When you get to 21, but well, before you get to 21, you you may have like a lot of dreams and aspirations to be, you know, I want to have my own house, I want to have my own car, I want to have this type of job and that type of job, and I want to make this much money, and I want to dress like this, and I want to be like that. You want to be and have so much 
And I'm sorry to tell you, but a lot of times by 21, you will not be shit. Sorry, you ain't gonna be shit, okay? Um, and it's okay to not be shit because I ain't shit and I think I'm doing okay. You know, I think I'm doing all right. I ain't shit. You know, just you just have to pace yourself and 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 and, and take time to figure out what you want, okay? And um, that takes a while and. Don't feel discouraged when you don't know what you're doing because <laughs> don't none of us know what we're doing. <laughs> Keep it real with yourself. You don't know what you're doing, just like I don't know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all. So if you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe, okay? Subscribe, like, comment, let your girl know what you want to see from me, okay? And don't feel discouraged because you ain't shit. Follow me on my social media at babymac underscore. I'm going to put it right here. It is B-A-B-B-B-A-B-Y-Y-M-A-C-C -C underscore. And follow me on Snapchat. I'm on Snapchat daily at Bria Nicole with two E's. I'm going to put that right here as well. Don't forget to become a bestie. And I'm going to see you in the next one.